Hey guys, Mike Mackerling with another episode of Workout 101 on WorkoutTrainer.com right here at Total Body Fitness Gym in Oak Park, California. Today we're going to be going over a hack squat. And no, I'm not talking about a machine hack squat that I know most gyms and most people who have done hack squats are familiar with. When you're training, not a lot of gyms, and I understand not a lot of places and facilities you might train at home, have access to certain pieces of equipment, so you have to improvise. If all you have is a barbell, that's perfectly fine. There's so many different versions of lower leg movements you can do just with the barbell. You can squat, you can deadlift, you can do overhead squat, front squat. One of the movements I don't see people doing a whole lot, and it's just because I train at a gym and most gyms have a hack squat machine, is a barbell hack squat. So I'm going to show you guys how to do it, talk to you about the technique and the benefits of the differences of why, why this is a, a different exercise than maybe something that you think it might be uh, a lot like, which is a deadlift, okay? First of all, when you, when you have a barbell hack squat, you want to make sure that the position of the bar is at the right height. If you don't have a plate that gives the barbell at a standard height from when you're pulled from the floor, you need to put the barbell up on something, a platform, so if you can't do this much weight, uh, which isn't a lot anyway, but if you can't, that's okay. Just make sure the barbell is up off of the floor to where you can actually bend down and grab it. Because the lower the barbell is, the more difficult it's going to be to position your body right to actually uh, uh, execute the movement with good technique. So when the barbell is on the floor here, what you want to do, you're stepping in front of the barbell. You're putting your legs, the, the back part of your legs, the posterior portion of your legs against the barbell and you got to make sure that they're even. You don't want to be standing to one side of the barbell or the other just like in a deadlift or anything else. You want to make sure that you're equal. Your feet are in a power stance, not a strength stance, but a power stance, which means your feet are a little bit closer together just outside of shoulder width apart. From this part, what you want to do is you want to bend down here and grab the barbell with an over-over position. When you deadlift, normally you do an over-under position. That's not what you're doing in this case, all right? You're doing an over-over position to where the barbell is placed behind you. And as you squat down here, you squat down in the same position as if you were to pull as in a deadlift. So the only difference between this position and a deadlift is you're slightly more forward and the weight is in front of you. And as you stand up here, your butt is a little bit lower than in the deadlift because the weight is behind you. And I'm standing up, back down. And relax, all right? It might look very similar to a deadlift, which a lot of people are used to, but the dynamics of the movement change because of the way that the bar and the position of the weight is. The reason why is because when you're doing a hack squat, even in a, uh, a machine setting, what do the hack squats really focus? Why are, why are they different than a regular squat? They put more load and emphasis onto the quads. And the reason why is because of the position of the body and the position of the weight. When you are doing a hack squat in a machine, your legs are usually in front of you, the weight's behind you. Because of the upright position of your torso, you're going to be putting more emphasis onto the quads and because the weight is behind you. So if I'm in an upright position, if I were on a machine, I were doing a hack squat this way, the position of my body is different because my contact point from where my feet are and the weight is behind me. It's almost like a front squat where the front squat allows you to sit more upright. Kind of the same principles. So because the weight is now behind your center line of body, uh, of your, the center line of your body, you have to sit lower, which puts you in a more erect position. And right now my quads are really the major muscle group that is involved, especially as I come up here, I have to sit more upright and then I come up. And as I come down here, my knees track a little bit further over my toes, which put more emphasis onto my quads. So, Think about like what sissy squats do or leg extensions. You're doing a sissy squat, we haven't covered it, but a sissy squat to where you're coming down here, what happens is, is the weight is displaced further away from the point at which you're bending, which emphasizes the quads. Same type of thing here. The weight is displaced further away behind the center line of your body, which forces your knees to track a little bit further over your toes, which puts more of a shearing force onto your knees, but it puts more emphasis onto your quads. 
And as I come up here, the weight's behind me. I'm in more of a rep position. Hit my quads, all right? Barbell, hack squat. If you guys have any questions about this exercise, ask me on Facebook. Ask me in the, in the trainer section. Click on the community tab when you're logged in. Find me, ask me a question. And if you guys aren't using the website and you're not finding all the great workout programs that we have, you need to start doing it. It is free. You do have to be a member with a login in order to get access, but it's free to sign up. There are optional upgrades, which I do have, that allow you guys for advanced features like custom nutrition. You can track your workouts and uh, through your Google calendars and things like that. But those are optional. And they are what allow us to keep the lights on around here. So if you want, I highly uh, you know, encourage you to sign up and take advantage of the upgrades. But if not, we still make all the programs, all the content, all the videos, all the interactions, the applications, where you can download the workouts free, guys. So I highly encourage you to use the website as I use the website. I built it so that I could track my own workouts and have a structured plan to follow. So I encourage you guys to do the same. So once again, it's Mike Mackerland with another episode of Workout 101 on WorkoutTrainer.com right here at Total Body Fitness Gym in Oak Park, California. Take care, guys.